I'm pissed. You know what? Yeah. I didn't want to make a video about this because I, after I heard of it, I heard of this news. Said to myself, you know what? Done. I'm done. I'm done with Michael Bay. Okay? He's now proved to me that he doesn't give a shit. To you Ninja Turtle fans, to you Transformer fans, you know what? I'm thinking about throwing away his Transformer movies. I'm thinking about somewhat keeping Bad Boys 2. You know what? And I think I better just wait and just might as well hope and see if, um... The, uh, the island gets put on TV or get yeah the island I'll just watch it when it's on TV not sure if I should get the DVD of that but the new, the new Ninja Turtle movie I know this was a long long time ago could have made a video about this a long time ago people seriously could have made a video about this a long time ago but I just felt like I shouldn't do it. I shouldn't make a video about this because I know. And I'm going to give you guys the heads up. Michael Bay enjoys. I said this. This director, this producer, this quote unquote, quote unquote, writer enjoys hearing you fanboys on God knows whatever you love, like you Transformer fans. Y'all complain about, oh, we hate Transformers 1. It's nothing like what, they were, what we were expecting. Yeah. Oh, we hate Transformers 2, The Ranger of the Fallen. It's racist. It's, got, it's, it's ripping off certain parts of certain movies. And the ro giant robot who has metal balls. <laughs> but. He enjoys it. I'm telling you this. He enjoys watching you, just hearing you guys type in your little hate mail that you, that y'all send to you, that y'all send to him. He enjoys the hatred. I'm serious. He enjoys hearing you guys say, "Oh, we hate this. Why can't you do it this way? Oh, we hate this. We hate you, Michael Bay. We hate you. We just wish you would die." You know what? Guys, seriously, he's enjoying this. He's enjoying it. What part of that do you not understand? He is enjoying this shit that he keeps coming out with. Every movie he comes out with, he's... I'm going to tell you the truth. I avoided pain and gain. I, I got to be honest with you. I like Mark Wahlberg. I like The Rock. I like the Dwayne Rock Johnson, okay. But I just avoided the movie because you know it's based on a real life event. And remember what Michael Bay tried doing another live action, real life event. We got fucking. I swear to God, we got Pearl Harbor. And that. So what's the whole point about this video? It has been official in this Ninja Turtle news that William Fishner, who they everybody assuming like you know, who's William Fishner is gonna be? Is he gonna be the Shredder? Is he gonna be someone else? Is he gonna be Baxter, Baxter Starkman or something like that? No. William Fishner is the Shredder. you, Michael Bay! I've given up on Michael Bay. I'm serious. I've, I've given up on Michael Bay. I think I'm donating my Transformer movies, keeping Bad Boys 2, because I still think that was a good movie, and a funny movie. But now, 
Michael Bay has now proven. Out, guys, seriously, you might say to yourself, "Well, whoa, 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 calm down. He's not the d director." I don't care. He knew he he knows the source material. Okay, and like several people said, people know that Michael Bay doesn't care about source material. But guess what? He throws all the source material out the window, and that, that this proves that he did not care about the Transformer fans. What did we like about Transformers? Giant robots playing other giant robots, etc., 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 fucking etc. I have seriously given up on Michael Bay because. Just literally, not just that, not the whole casting of Shredder, but Splinter, Splinter. They got a fucking midget to play as Splinter. Some fucking midget that's been in TV shows like, TV shows I don't normally watch. Like freaking um, Crash and Bernstein. He's been in um, Seinfeld. And a couple other movies. And a couple other stuff that he's been in. This actor, this midget actor that they're having play Splinter. I, I'm sorry, guys. I, I'm still going to review this movie. I'm still going to rip it to shreds when it gets released. When it gets released, I swear to God, I am going to rip this movie apart. Bruce Lee style. I'm dead serious. I, I Michael Bay has get, had the chance to do the right thing. Pick the right people for this movie. Be uh, Yes, yes, he is the producer. But he's still in charge of this movie. Okay, producers are in charge of a movie. If a movie, and if, even if he, even if he's thinking about blaming um, Paramount or the director who did fucking other shitty ass movies that I just didn't give a damn about. The director, I don't care about. I really don't care about what the director, um, film editorial shit that he's done. I don't give a fuck. He hasn't made a movie I've liked. And I'm dead serious. He has not made a movie I've liked at all. But this director... You are going to be up there with fucking... Uh, you're going to be up there with M. Night Shyamalan... And James Wong. As everybody like to call him James Wong. Or something like that. Wrong, wrong, stupid joke. Anyway, but Michael Bay, seriously, fuck you. Seriously, I know you're gonna be enjoying hear me, see, see me getting all enraged, enjoying my vertical spy fury of all god, all godliness. But you, you knew what the source material was in Ninja Turtles. Or you knew you probably got the writers, the original writers who did Ninja Turtles. I don't care. I'm still going to see this movie. May have to sneak in the theater to go see this movie. And I don't care what happens. I'm still going to review the trailer. I swear to God, the trailer looks so fucking awful. If the characters do not look anything, I mean nothing, like what they're supposed to look like, trust me, ripping it to shreds. I mean ripping it to fucking shreds. Ripping it to pieces. So, next video of this topic, 
look forward for the trailer review for this. Because seriously, I am going to rip this fucking movie apart. So as I usually say, now what are my thoughts about William Fishner as the Shredder? He's not even Japanese. At least Ninja Turtles 3. Okay, horrible movie by the way. At least Ninja Turtles 3 actually got some Asian actors and some Asian villains, or maybe one Asian villain, or at least, at least they were able to afford Asian actors. They were able to afford Asian actors, people. Okay, they were at least able to get Asian actors. Splinter, he was Asian. Asian man, Asian rat, or whatever. I, I, he, he was from Japan. Shredder. Oroko Sh or, Sorry. Oroko Saki. Saki! Saki! He... Asian. Asian character. Now being played by an American actor. Ninja Turtles is not a Japanese anime show okay you got you either have asian actors in the movie you either have some american actors in the movie matter of fact at least have two asian actors in the movie and have more most of the whole entire cast american actors i'm sorry i'm still gonna see this movie i know i'm bitching a lot about this topic still gonna see the movie i'm still gonna I'm still gonna see this movie, however I can pro probably see it. You know what? I I just I'm gonna. I swear to you, if it sucks, I will let you know. If it if it's a decent movie, I'll also let you know. But seriously, I've given up on Michael Bay. He, he he's not even doing us. He, he's just basically just doing us for the money. So if the Ninja Turtle movie. Reboot sucks. I will tell you, it'll suck. They got Megan Fox, a fucking midget to play as Splinter, a non Asian actor playing as the Shredder. Let's see how this goes. But in, in my realm of universe, in this universe, we got our Ninja Turtle movie. It was basically the film back at 1990, well, basically 1990 or 1989. But at least we got our Ninja Turtle movie. We've already got it. So, still, fuck you, Michael Bang. Still, fuck you. So. Vertical, vertical spy outro.